Loose puck at the Moncton blue line. Cartier, he'll step over center. Lead pass. Denway, you're coming in. Centers in the shot. What a save there by Dagler, the 2 on one Denway is sitting up first. Right now. Just kidding, of course. 50-50 raffles continue playing anywhere you want from the province. Again, there's a shot off the face off. They score! That was Dieppe Justin Jean Denis, folks. He pushed it ahead at the draw in the Wildcat zone. Got a shot away. Steinman made the save, and he followed up with his own Senior rebound. Right winger, six foot two, one ninety-eight, first of the year in Justin Jean Denis. Some missed coverage there. Off the face-off, he stepped by the Moncton centerman. Got the shot away, and it's my nice pass to Plandowski on the wing. Plandowski fires it up to OJ. They're over the line. Loshing in the high slot. There's the shot. They score! Whoa! Duck. Well, you talk about your release of uh, Loshing fooling Dagla. It looks like glove side high. There's the replay there. Loshing was about 15 feet inside the blue line, snapping it by the glove of the goaltender. Modin. Modin will move in. Turning around a TIG player. Modem behind the net. Tries to center it. Cartier is there. Cartier turns and fires. Scores! John Cartier! The Moncton rookie, another beautiful wrist shot. He just turned and fired. Sailing it by. Goaltending all the work. There's the replay there. Wow, Sean Cartier giving Moncton a 2-1 lead. Great wrist shot by number 14, Sean Cartier. The rookie at a 20 BF, 5'9", 165. Down down. 5.43 to go in a 2-1 Moncton lead. Puck at the Victoriaville blue line. Snapping it across. Manville, the defenseman, long pass coming in on the wing. Cormier, there's a shot, they score! Tommy Cormier busted in from the blue line, set up by Manville. He had a step on the Wildcat defenseman and flipped it high over Steinman's arm to tie things up at 2-2. At 14-20, first period action at the Avenir. There's the replay coming in, Cormier. Yeah, he kind of split the D, walking in around Grenier and Fouquier Jean Denon with a step or two and beat Steinman high on the stick side. Veteran Tommy Cormier getting his first of the year. He has six assists to lead the team there and getting a point and an assist tonight so far. 2-2, Jean Denon and Corbier for Victoriaville. Johan Loshing, third of the year from OJ and Plandowski. And Sean Cartier, first of the year from Modin and Mercier. Battling hard inside the blue line. Kept in by the Tigre. Coming along, Tommy Cormier. Nice move. Cormier shoots. Rebound. Cleared away by Modin. Good pad saved by Steinman. Cormier flying out there. Here come oh, the Cats inside the center. Glass. Attempting to put some pressure on the TIG to the defense core. Victoriaville through the middle. Polinski tacking up his man. Cormier puts on the brakes at the circle. Back to the blue line. There's the shot. They score. Looked like 92. Frankie Asenza with a high wrist shot. Set up by Tommy Cormier. That goal coming at 11.20. And the TIG to take a 3-2 lead. Former Wildcats. Senza from number nine. Player Quebec. Always seems to work out that way that the former players come back and get one on their first time back in. There's the replay, Cormier back to Yacenza. There was heavy traffic in front of Steinman. I'm not sure if he picked up that entire wrist shot. Yacenza does have a good quick drag wrist shot and let it go high. John Cudier has the goal tonight, his first along with Johan Loshing. 3-2 TIG, breaking in alone is Cormier's shot. Steinman stayed with him on number 79, Satonge. Catch in their own zone. Pushing over the Not line, targeting. he lost it at the blue line. And back come the TIG, Cormier. A pass in front, it's centered by the TIG, they score! LaRose, he faked the pass in front. I think Jacob Steinman thought that as well. And when he leaned over the Victor post blue line on a rush by Loshing, 4.51 left in the second period and the TIG take a 2-1 lead. It was really almost a three on three, LaRose Freezing Stein Lounsbury. Mueller putting on the brakes with 40 seconds to go in front to Modin. Modin backhands it in front of shot. Rebound, it's loose. The referee's waving it off. Big pile up there. Down goes the goaltender. Nabunamwe, meanwhile, trying to handle Plandowski in front of the net. Major pile up in front of Dagle. Moncton denied. 35 seconds to go. Tigre, two goal lead, 4 2. 
Shots are 27 to 22. Coming to the middle of the ice. Modin over the Plandowski. A shot blocked by the goaltender on the short side. Modin fires another one. Tipped in front by Lounsbury. What a save by the goaltender. Dag on the Lounsbury Nicely tip. there by Ladoz. Back come the Tigre. They're going to fire it in off the corner. Loose in front to Cormier. Picked up. There's a shot by LaRose. Loose in front. They score. Jandron getting his second. Set up by LaRose. They seem to have that play figured out. A key shoot in off the backboards and the Tig to take full advantage and put one by Steinman to make it 5-2. to two. The Epps, Justin Gendron getting his second at 8-15. We'll take a short pause, folks, and come back. The Tig leading by three. Third period action here at the Avenir. This is Wildcats Hockey from downtown Moncton. The Epps to make it 5-2. Loshing at the blue line, there's a shot. Sump the backhander with the goaltender sitting down off his chest. That was close. Julius Sump, another shot, pad saved by Dagle. High flip again, kept in though by Collard. Collard off on the wing, Modin back to Collard, the shot, rebound Modin, they score! It's in Modin! Coming with 43.4 to go. Great play by Vincent Collard to keep it in. He had to reach up high and knock it down with the glove. A little give and go. Good shot. Modin there with the rebound. And number five, Etienne Modin, puts Moncton on the board. Is it a case of too little, too late? We will see. Great replay. Great shot by 